You're watching CNA Heroes. Here's Lisa Sweet. Welcome to CNA Heroes. I'm Lisa Sweet, co-founder of the National Association of Healthcare Assistants. The current pandemic has changed all our lives in so many ways. Everyday activities like grocery shopping, banking, and even getting a haircut are more difficult and must be somewhat thought out. However, those working and living in nursing homes have, have suffered the greatest during this crisis. Residents have suffered from this pandemic They've been separated from their loved ones. CNAs have suffered greatly too. Many of them have been affected with this deadly virus and some have died. CNAs work has never been so critical to the health of our nation's frail and elderly. They have sacrificed their own health and well-being to care for others and usually without the added compensation of hazard pay. The pan pandemic has also suspended so many CNA recognition events and activities that are so important. We here at NACA were forced early in the year to cancel our annual CNA Fest, a two-day in-person event with continuing education and recognition for CNAs gathered from around the country. Many companies have canceled their annual meetings that included award ceremonies recognizing outstanding CNAs. Although I definitely agree with these event cancellations, it makes me sad that CNAs aren't getting the recognition, especially at a time when they need it most. So today, I want to take a moment to recognize one of these deserving CNAs. Rachel Deans is an 11 year CNA at the Commons at Tall Pines in Belfast, Maine. She quietly accepted her company's 2020 Employee of the Year Award on a sunny August morning without the pomp and circumstance usually given with the award at their annual awards luncheon. Each year, the Commons selects one employee out of everyone whose performance best exemplifies the excellence for which the family-owned business continually strives. And this year, it is Rachel Deans. According to residents, families, and coworkers, Rachel has been an exemplary caregiver who prioritizes the care of her residents above everything else. Rachel clearly understands how to achieve customer service through sincere compassion. She cares deeply for her residents, their families, and the company which she works for. Families of residents often tell Rachel's supervisors stories about the exceptional care and support that Rachel provides to their loved ones and even themselves. Rachel is a major contributor to the positive reputation the Tall Pines enjoys in the greater Belfast community. Executive Director Matt Griswold said, Rachel is hardworking, consistent, reliable, and always a positive influence. She tries to help wherever she can and is always willing to do whatever is needed to help Tall Pines and our residents. Recently, Rachel took on the role of restorative aid and has hit the ground running. Her positive and energetic approach has made her an excellent choice for this position. Her can-do attitude, combined with her respect for the residents within her care, make for a truly great caregiver. Rachel was nominated and chosen for the award in March of this year 
and Griswold had planned to accompany her to the annual Employee of the Year luncheon provided by North Country Associates, a main based nursing provider which operates several facilities throughout New England. The luncheon was canceled due to the pandemic. Beyond the cancellation, when the Commons was hit with a virus outbreak, Rachel was one of the staff members to contract the virus. After quarantining and recovering, she returned to her work with the same enthusiasm and apparent sense of duty, which have always been markers of her work ethic, according to Griswold, the executive director. She has worked when and wherever she was needed, even helping out in other departments. Rachel is a utility player. Rachel's performance throughout this time has been an inspiration to those around her. Griswold and the rest of the team at the Commons recognize that Rachel is a true asset to their community, one which Griswold readily admits they are lucky to have. Rachel Deans, thank you for your devotion to the residents and the quality care you deliver. Your kindness and efforts do not go unrecognized. You may not have gotten your awards luncheon, but today we are honoring and recognizing you, Rachel Deans, CNA hero.